Understanding Robots.txt Guide for Website Owners Hello everyone, today we're diving into a topic that may seem like it's about science fiction, but it's actually a crucial part of the internet, robots.txt. If you own a website or are interested in how search engines interact with websites, you'll want to stick around to learn all about this powerful text file. So, let's get started and uncover the secrets of robots.txt. Robots.txt is a text file webmasters create to instruct web robots, typically search engine crawlers, on how to crawl pages on their website. The TXT stands for text, and the file is always named robots.txt. This file is part of the Robot Exclusion Protocol, REP, a group of web standards that regulate how robots crawl the web, access and index content, and serve that content up to users. The robots.txt file is a public file. Anyone can see what sections of a server are allowed or disallowed for crawling. It's important to note that the instructions in robots.txt are directives and are not enforceable. It depends on the web crawler to respect these directives. Robots.txt files tell search engines what to do with the website's content. If there's a folder or page you don't want to be accessible via search results, you'll mention it in the robots.txt file. It's like the do not enter sign on private property for search engines. The file uses the user agent string to communicate with web crawlers and a disallow directive to tell crawlers what content not to index. For example, the following line tells all crawlers not to index the images folder on a website. User agent disallow images. In this case, asterisk refers to all web crawlers and images is the folder you're instructing them not to crawl. Having a robots.txt file is crucial for website management because it can prevent your site from being overloaded with requests. It keeps certain parts of your site private. It tells search engines which parts of your site are most important. However, it's not a security measure. If you have sensitive data, you should not rely on robots.txt to protect it. Instead, proper authentication methods should be used. Webmasters use robots.txt files for various reasons. Managing crawler traffic. If your server has limited resources, you might use robots.txt to control how often and what content search engines crawl. Preventing duplicate content. Sometimes, websites have content that is repeated across several pages. A robots.txt file can tell search engines which version of the content is the preferred one. Hiding certain files. You might want to keep some files, like scripts or data, away from search engines to prevent them from appearing in search results. Thank you for watching our explainer on robots.txt. Remember, while robots.txt can guide search engines, it's not a foolproof way to hide information. Always use proper security measures for anything truly private. We hope this video has helped you understand how robots.txt works and why it's such a valuable tool for website owners. If you have any questions or insights, feel free to share them in the comments below. Until next time, happy learning and happy coding!